Hey guys, this is LaGranzilla. I uh, want to continue my confrontation series and this time we're going to look at a vinyl model kit by Randy Bowen of King Kong. Uh, this kit is a little interesting. Um, the pose uh, makes it so a lot of times the pictures make the hand look huge because just how far out it stretches and the hand is rather large but Probably not out of uh, what it should be when you put it at the right angle, um, but the hands are very big. One of them holds uh, and Darrow. It has a base that has the name on it. I like to uh, enhance the bases with a little bit of Woodland Scenics uh, stuff, but I did not glue him on there. He just sits sits on the base like that and uh, this sculpt uh, is just a little bit on the cartoony side I guess I'd describe it um, it's uh, not like a realistic gorilla that you would see like with the Peter Jackson um, but it's it's rather stylized I guess and uh, it's an interesting uh, piece um, you see them a lot on eBay Make sure you don't get a recast if you get one, but they're not that expensive. Uh, should be able to get one uh, under a hundred dollars, and it's a pretty big kit. The trickiest thing about this kit, and you can see uh, the problems I had, was uh, the way it puts together here. And uh, you can see I have a bit of a ridge around here. It's really difficult to uh, uh, put this together in this area. Um, what I actually had to do is I filled the bottom with Durham's water putty because I like to give it uh, uh, more um, weight on the bottom and make it a little more solid. Um, after doing that, I had to put a bolt in the uh, top half and uh, wedge it in there a certain way so that it would open up and, and fit properly on the, uh, on the bottom part and uh, it's still stuck out far so when I did putting I I ended up having a little bit of a ridge which I'm not happy with but uh, but it was difficult to do um, and uh, it, there are difficulties in, in some of the uh, putting areas because the pieces don't fit perfectly uh, and seamlessly on there and so then you end up having quite a bit of a ridge to, to, to work with so as a challenge in that way, um, I had tried putting the top and the bottom on by super gluing one side and then trying to push it in and put some glue and hold it, and it just wouldn't work. Uh, so I ended up doing what I did. Um, and here's a little better shot of uh, of uh, Anne. But it's uh, it was challenging to build, I, I suppose. Um, like I say, but it's uh, it's, a, it's a pretty neat kit too, um, and uh, you know maybe I could have done a little better on it. For some reason, he doesn't want to stand on there now, the way I want him to. There we go. Oops. I guess it's hard to put him on there properly when I'm holding the camera and trying to aim that. So there you have it. Randy Bowen's King Kong. Until next time, I'll show you uh, some more King Kong projects. I have one coming up that I think you'll really like. It's a diorama that's got quite a bit of detail on it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.